Thank you very much. I'm James Bresley. A group of executives at Austin Community College, ACC, has commissioned my students, the TV One players, in conjunction with a crack team of video technicians and engineers, to produce a series of shorts based on the Academy Award winning screenplay, Pulp Fiction, written by Quentin Tarantino and Roger Rabbit. This on the occasion of the Spring 2007 student film screening. We hope you enjoy the show. Thank you very much. have shotguns for this kind of deal. How many are up there? Three or four. That's counting our guy? I'm not sure. So there could be five guys up there? It's possible. Yeah, we should have shotguns. So he hid it. The one place he knew he could hide something is ass. Five long years he wore this tape up his ass. He died of distance area, he give me the tape. I had this uncomfortable hunk of plastic up my ass for two years. After seven years, I sent home to my family. And now, little man, I give the tape to you. So who's the head of the RTF department again? Ms. Hill, why are you interested in Deborah Hill? The department might be moving to Pinnacle Campus, so the dean wants me to take her out and shoot her. Shoot her? No, man, videotape her. Shoot a presentation to help out the department. So you're going to be making a movie with Deborah Hill? It's not a movie. You know, it's just like filming your buddy's wedding. Just a good job. That's all. It's not a movie. It's definitely not a movie. You know what they call a uh, TV system in Paris? They don't call it NTSC? No, they shoot 625 lines of resolution and 25 frames per second. They wouldn't know what the f NTSC is. what they call it? They call it Seiko. Seiko. what they call HD? HD is HD, but they call it Le HD. Le HD. <laughs> what do they call it that? I don't know. I didn't go into a radio station. Order a hundred dollar RTF book? Mm-hmm. That's a book. That's ink and paper. Uh-huh. That's a hundred dollars? Yep. It don't come with a CD ROM or nothing. Nope. Just check Rainbow, right? It's rainbow bright. So you ever get up to uh, Orange Meadow very often? Sometimes. You ever see Lala Orange? I heard she was dating that Red Butler guy. Miss Bright, we need you on stage in 15 minutes.
Is that your boyfriend? You checking out a tripod? I don't need no tripod. What are you, Rodriguez? No, I ain't Rodriguez. I just don't think I'm no tripod, that's all. Why not? Tripod slowing me down. Tripod's off a and I'm not a Yeah, but Lawrence of Arabia looks good. Dr. Zhivago looks good. Okay, well, an English patient may look like an Oscar winner, but I never know, because I would never watch the boring mother Tripods are hard to set up, and they tip over. And uh, I don't use none of these to bag of sand to hold it down. How about lights? Lights use sandbags and stands. I don't use lights either. Oh man, I'm never gonna forgive your ass for this. This is some f***ed up, repugnant ass. Jules, did you hear the philosophy that once a man admits he's wrong, he's immediately forgiven for all wrongdoings? Have you heard that? Motherfucker said that shit never had to pick up itty bitty pieces of Cheetos off the studio floor on account of your dumb ass. I got a threshold, Jules. I got a threshold for the abuse that I will take. And right now, I'm a VU meter. And you got me in the red. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying that having a VU meter in the red is a dangerous mother thing. I could clip. Oh, oh, you're ready to clip? Yeah, I'm ready to clip. Well, I'm a DV cam deck tape eating mother mother As a matter of fact, every time my fingers touch Cheetos, I'm studio manager TNT. I'm the latest cut of El Jefe. As a matter of fact, what the am I doing in the back? You're the mother should be on Cheetos detail. We're switching. I'm washing the pre-production table and you're picking up the Cheetos. Always be my special spread. Uh, <laughs> I know. That's cause I'll always be there to look after you, Rainbow. When you get into trouble, I'm in on the double, not even a second goes by. Oh, yeah. Just give me a cheer, here I come, never fear, I'll be there in the twink of an eye. <laughs> and when old Mickey dismal eyes like you abysmal, then into the pits I will fly. Yeah. Just sound the alarm while you solve my charm, I'll be there in the twink of an eye. You can blink, blink, you can wink. Just as quick as you think, say whoa, 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 whoa. Just wrinkle your nose and sing to the sky. I'll be there in the twink of an eye. Yeah.